So the next thing we're gonna take a look at, and this is again a little bit of review territory, is uh, we're gonna look at border radius, and we're also gonna look at margin zero auto, or the margin property and the different values we could set to that property. And, uh, and um, the main takeaway, one of the main takeaways from this video is this right here, right? So when we are setting something where you could set like all four corners of the box, you could set all four corners at once. So here, border radius, 100%. I'm setting all four corners at, at once, the top, the right, the bottom, and the left corner. So however that translates on your screen. Top, <laughs> I don't know if that's right or left on your screen. Right, left, right, bottom, left, right? But you just go around clockwise, top, Top, right, bottom, left. That's my top, right, bottom, left. I don't know if it's transposed on your screen. But uh, that's when you set one, just one value, it's for all four, trouble, right? Top, right, bottom, left. If you set two values here, that's for top and bottom and right and left. So you could set two values and it's hitting the top and the bottom and the right and left. Or you could set all four values individually. Top, right, bottom, left. So that's one of the main takeaways from this video is just knowing that because we're going to see how that applies to margin zero auto and it'll help us understand margin zero auto. So here's a page where I'm setting border radius to 100% and then here's another page where I'm setting it border radius top and bottom, right and left to 10%, 100% and then here's another page where I'm setting each corner to some different value, right? So if I look at all of those pages, Here is uh, the first one where I set all four corners to 100%. It's a nice circle, right? All four corners, 100%, top, right, bottom, left. Here is where I'm setting uh, top and bottom to 10% and uh, right and left to 100%, top and bottom, right and left. So let's look at that page. Kind of cool. And, uh, and then this last one is where I'm setting top, right, bottom, left, treble, 10%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 25%. So the top is 10%, the right is 100%, the bottom is 100%, and then the left is 25%. And this is what this one looks like. Oh, pow, kind of cool. So what exactly is the top, right? Like when it's a corner, is it the top left or the top right? We could say, okay, set that one to 100, and then set these all to zero. And when it's uh, zero, you don't need to add a percent or a pix or anything like that. It's actually incorrect to do it that way. So uh, here, you can see the top left was 100%. And then the right, the bottom, and the left were all zero, right? I might back that off to like 20% just so it's a little bit more clear. There, that's pretty clear. Kind of cool what you could do with border radius. I'm going to set that back to its original ones. Actually, I think I'll leave that as an example. I'm going to leave that as an example, copy it, paste it, make it 04, and then I'll set 03 back to the way it was, which was that. No, it was that. There we go, that one. All right, so that's a, that's a border radius, and border radius is totally fun. And, uh, and the main takeaway is that when you see things, like this, where you're applying to four sides, it's getting all four sides at once, or like this, it's getting the top and the bottom, and the right and the left, or like this, it's top, right, bottom, left. So when you see those values, uh, that's how it's being applied. Now that's gonna help us understand uh, margin zero auto. And if you're paying attention, you even noticed, I was using margin zero auto right there, just kind of hit it in the middle. I was using it to uh, center uh, that div in the middle of the page, right? And so what margin does, right? We have our box model, and our box model is the content, and then it has the padding, and then it has the border, and then it has the margin. <laughs> I feel like uh, Pulp Fiction and uh, John Travolta, ch 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 square. All right, so uh, box model reminder, box model, yeah? Content? padding, border, margin, okay? Let me let you look at that for a second. Just a reminder, content, padding, border, margin. All right, so we got our box model, and uh, with our box model, 
when we want to center something, right? So I said, hey, width, height, 200. And then I said, margin, zero, auto. Well, zero auto is applying to the top and the bottom and the right and the left, right? So here's top and bottom, no margin on the top and the bottom. And on the right and left, make the margin automatically equal. Make the margin automatically equal. So equal amounts on the right and left. That's what auto does with margin. And so when I have that, it centers, right? So that's margin zero auto centers. It centers that, right? So nothing up here on the top and the bottom and on the left and the right automatically make the widths equal. And, uh, and so that's, uh, that's why, you know, understanding this one setting, two settings, four settings, one setting, two settings, four settings, two settings, understanding that two settings helps you understand what's happening, right? With that two settings. We got that one and then we have this one. You know, so the zero is top and bottom and the auto is right and left. So we could actually change that because a lot of people just say margin zero auto. <laughs> and then like, how do I get some space up above or down below? Well, change it. There's 20 pixels for top and bottom, right? And so now let's make it 200, really see a shift. So now this whole ball is gonna come down and it also has 200 space beneath it. So if we added another div in right there on our index, just copy that div right there, create another div, and then here, we can see this one is 200 pixels down, right? And uh, pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> so that's a, that's a margin zero auto or margin 200 pix auto. What if I just wanted the top and uh, I didn't want a margin on the bottom? Well, there's top, there's right, there's bottom, there's left, right? Same deal. Get rid of this margin, this div here. So, kind of cool. So, uh, now that you understand this deal right there, right, you understand margin zero auto, but also more importantly, you understand how you could change it from margin zero auto to be like margin whatever automatically on the left and right. So, that's uh, center, centering something horizontally. And then, of course, also border radius is uh, allowing us to change the shape of the borders. And essential to both of those, and the main takeaway from this video, one of the main takeaways would be understanding these settings. When you have one setting, it's for all four. When you have two settings, it's for top and bottom, right and left. And when you have four settings, it is for top, right, bottom, left, like this one right there. So that allows you to start working with border radius and margin to uh, change right, what is, uh, what's being applied. All right, so that's border radius and also margin zero auto or margin however you want to set them right you could do left and right auto and top and bottom whatever you want